bunch of tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, May 16th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. I think if you're a bodybuilding fan of a certain age, there's something in your head that clicks when you see new school guys in the gym doing old school heavy compound movements. And it doesn't get a whole lot more old school than knocking out 315 for 20 reps on the military press in the middle of your prep like we saw from Martin Fitzwater earlier this week. At this point, the Texas Pro is still seven or eight weeks away. And the general consensus from people down there is that Martin is as focused as they ever seen him. Last year, the Texas Pro lineup ended up being a lot deeper than most people anticipated. And he still managed to crack the top five in his rookie debut. So if he stays locked like this for the next few weeks, he's someone we should keep an eye on as a potential dark horse. Listen, when you pull off a 900 pound deadlift in shorts and a t-shirt, the way Joe Mackey did a few weeks ago, it immediately puts you into rarefied air territory. But then when you can turn around and follow it up with another video, knocking out 190 pound dumbbells on the bench for reps, well, it just further cements your status as the baddest man in bodybuilding. According to Joe, he's allowed his weight to creep up a few pounds since he shook up the world with that deadlift. And those few extra calories back into his diet seem to have done the trick. At this point, he still hasn't mentioned whether we'll see him on a bodybuilding stage this season. But considering how well things are going for him right now, it wouldn't be a huge shock if we saw him jump into something later in the year and do some serious damage. I don't really know if championship synergy is a thing or if when champions surround themselves with other champions it magnifies their powers like something out of an old superhero movie. Well, but it damn well can't hurt. Recently we saw two former Olympia champs in Missy Truscott and Flex Lewis link up out there in Vegas at the Dragon's Lair where they're both preparing to enter into the next phase of their respective contest seasons. For the most part, Missy and Flex have both kept a relatively low profile over the last few weeks. In terms of pure star power, these two both rank right up there near the top of the list in their respective divisions. So if this whole championship synergy thing is real and it helps either one of them hit an extra gear, then we will see it put on full display when they both rock the Olympia stage later this year. As I'm sure you know already, one of the biggest events on the calendar is set to go down this weekend at the New York Pro. And at least right now, the number one thing on the mind of every men's physique fan is whether or not we're going to see Sadiq Hadzivic go in there, secure the win, and reestablish himself as the true title contender in the division. We know that he was dominant two weeks ago when he made his big comeback at the Pittsburgh Pro. And for all intents and purposes, that was easily the best he's ever looked as a men's physique competitor. But as we've seen time and time again, New York is a different animal and the pressure to win there isn't something that should be overlooked. But with that being said, if he can rise to the occasion and find a way to lock up the victory, it's going to give him a lot of momentum heading down the stretch, and that might end up paying huge dividends as we get deeper into the season. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you.